Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I um, hope you guys are having a beautiful day. So today's question is, how do you deal with those negative comments? So we all know how a negative comment can just crush your little heart instantly and it's so hard to shake that feeling of negativity and you're like why did that person make that comment was it really necessary to say something like that do they even know how they're making me feel by saying something like that so i'm going to help you with a step-by-step -step little um, project and this is going to help you change your train of thought so and we all know that we're not going to forget those comments, but I am going to show you an easy way to at least change your train of thought so that the negative feeling can go away and you can replace that with a nice positive feeling. So you're going to need a few things. You're going to need some scrap pieces of paper. You're going to need some pretty pieces of paper. So anything that's nice and colorful is something that you wouldn't mind looking at all the time. And you're going to need a bin. Everyone's got a bin. So once you have all of that, you are going to write things down. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take those scrap pieces of paper and you're going to write the negative comments down. So I've got two negative comments here on two pieces of scrap paper. And then on your pretty paper, you are going to write down all the positive comments that you receive. So you don't have to write all of them down because you'll probably realize that you don't have space to have all of them unless you fold the paper up real small and you can fill up a huge bowl. But um, just write down some positive comments and put them in your clear bowl with your pretty pieces of paper, just like this. So, that should also, when you do something like this, it should make you feel better already. The fact that you have so many more positive comments compared to your negative comments should be what influences you more than the negative comments. It's so easy for us to receive all this positive feedback and, you know, appreciate it for a second, but then you get negative feedback and you just can go on about it for days because it affects you so badly. So it's sad that negative negativity can affect you in this way, but that is why we have so much positivity that we can try and replace that negative feeling with. So what I will do, so now that, now that you have your negative comments, you have your positive comments, um, this is what you're going to do. I only have two negative comments. I have received more than this before, but these two really upset me <laughs> and you're probably gonna laugh at these because they actually aren't that bad and you're gonna feel oh why why did it affect her in that way but personally it did it upset me in such a way that it would pretty much affect me for a day sometimes a bit more than that and i'd be like why 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 do i even bother kind of thing and that is a train of thought that you need to change so i'm sure you guys want to know what my negative comments were don't you <laughs> okay so the first one that upset me is this one where the person made a comment and said realism is a waste of time. Why bother? So that really crushed my little heart because realism is what I do. I like to take a moment that actually occurred in time and recreate it for myself in all its purity and try and create it as... Um, as correct and as realistically as possible from start to finish and being able to develop that skill to create that that memory something that actually existed before is what I live for that's the kind of thing I love to do so why make a comment like this when you can tell that this is what I do it's it's just not necessary to make negative comments like that if, if you don't have something nice to say then don't say it but you know what? It's always going to happen. So this is how we're going to deal with it. So the other comment was, you guys are probably going to laugh at this one, but it upset me. <laughs> this one is, you went downhill on this one. So, and the comment made, the drawing that this comment was made on was actually a drawing that I was really proud of. So I couldn't understand why the person thought that this was worse than anything I'd done before. And it's, it's such a petty comment, but it can have such an effect on you. And it's not, 
it's not necessary. It's it's just not necessary to make these comments, but it's going to happen. So when you have that negative feeling because you've received those awful comments, you go to your other bowl and you start picking out things to cheer you up because it would. Absolutely breathtaking. I won't read all of them. I'll just read some. You're making a piece of paper come to life. And let's read one more. You draw and we follow. We know the ride is going to be great. See, these are comments that are just such nice comments. And these are people that keep coming back and keep wanting to see more and more and more. And those are the people you need to put your focus on. And those are the comments you need to put your focus on because it's uplifting. It makes you feel good and it motivates you to move on. Anything that stops you from moving on should be taken and chucked. My bin is falling apart. Should be thrown in the bin. Gone. That's all you do. You take your waste pieces of paper, you write it down, you get it out, you throw it in the bin, you leave it there and let it just take its way to the waste place. Whatever. So, and then you keep this bowl. And it, sometimes you'll get those days where you just feel a bit down. It isn't anything in particular, but you just have those days where you're just a bit, ugh. That's also another reason to go to your bowl and pick a few things out and be like, okay, I am going to keep going on with my day. And that's also a good way to start your day is to pick out a comment, read something positive and be like, okay, let's get some more of those comments coming. <laughs> so... I can't tell you guys to just shrug those comments off your shoulder and just forget about it because we know we can't but I can tell you guys what to focus on instead and this is how I suggest you do it and keep those positive things flowing in your home and anything negative throw it out you don't need that in your life okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I wish you all a Merry Christmas Christmas is in two days that's insane this year has gone really 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 fast next week's video Next week's video is going to be all about um, just a rundown on how this whole year has gone for me. And just to thank you guys on experiencing this whole journey with me. So Merry Christmas to all of you and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye!